Now we're going to tie a intracorporeal interrupted suture using the Rosser technique. We introduce the needle with the non-dominant hand with the tip of the needle pointing to the left and we grasp the suture at the grasping point outside of the training box with the needle in this correct orientation. We now grasp the needle a third of the way from the switch to the tip using the upper jaw to bring the needle into the lower jaw. We can now release with the left hand, lock the right hand, penetrate through the tissue by extending, abducting, and rotating. We then grasp the tip of the needle with the left hand and lock the left hand. We can release the right, use the right hand to stabilize the tissue, and rotate out following the curve of the needle, carrying the needle to the 11 o'clock position and leaving a short tag. We br then bring the needle back over the knot. We'll swing the swedge in to create a 45 degree angle between the long axis of the needle driver and the needle itself. This will place the right needle driver roughly parallel to the needle itself. Now the tag is on the right. This is the location of the knot that is to be tied. So the needle will be to the left of the knot when the tag is to the right. We start at the 12 o'clock position over the curve of the needle and we will make two clockwise rotations around the needle, grasping the very end of the tag. The left hand then rotates medially and moves to the one o'clock position while the right hand moves up slightly and then back adjacent to the knot to allow us to have a very short tag. We take all of the tension out with the left hand. We then can release the tag, come back over the knot. The tag is now to the left of the knot at the seven o'clock position. The needle will now be just to the right of the knot. We'll do a counterclockwise rotation around the needle to grasp the tag. The left hand then goes to 11 o'clock while the right hand goes to five o'clock. Release the tag, bring the needle back. The tag is now to the right of the knot. The needle is to the left. We'll make a clockwise rotation, grasp the tag, rotate our hand immediately 90 degrees, move the right hand to seven o'clock, and we've completed the knot. We can then grasp both ends of the suture with the right hand. The left hand will re-grasp so that the right hand surgeon can cut the suture with his right hand.